A lot of musicians think they have to learn a lot of chords in order to play beautiful music, but I believe that's not true. That's why in this video, I'm gonna share an ultra simple way that you can use to create beautiful music using one chord. And it's based off of this idea called parallel harmony. And what it is, is you take each note within a chord, let's say F major seven, each note within that chord either rises or falls by the same interval. So I can take this F major seven, and I'm going to move each note in this chord up by a half step. So now it comes to F sharp major seven. So I went from F major seven to F sharp major seven. By playing this chord, or playing these two chords like this, I'm taking advantage of parallel harmony. All these notes are moving in parallel. The spacing between those two notes, well, between the notes are remaining the same. And that's the whole concept with parallel harmony. That's it, that's the video. I'm just kidding. We're gonna go through a couple examples to really drive this point home. Let's say I start on a D minor 11. I can take this D minor 11 and take each note within this chord. I can move each note up by a whole step. And now we're at an E minor 11. And now I can take each note within this E minor 11 and move it up by a whole step. So now we have F sharp minor 11. Should do that movement often in my progressions that sounds pretty good and all we did was we just started on this one chord and we just moved each note up by a, a, a whole step and then took each note in this chord and moved it up by a whole step so we're just taking advantage of parallel harmony it gives you that ability to easily construct these really cool and unique compositions let's do another example but before i share it a lot of you have been asking me, hey, what's the name of that app that you use to display those chords? Well, it's actually a software that I built called Apollo, and it's a great way for you to know the chords that you've been playing, but you might not know the names of them. And it's also a great way for you to discover new chords. I actually share my own personal chords within the app. It's really just a cool app that you can use to discover new chords, but also learn more about the chords that you've been playing. Now, I don't have the time to walk through all the features that it has to offer, so I'm gonna provide a link in the description below for those of you who are interested. But yeah, it's just really just a great way for you to just level up your skills on the piano and just expand your knowledge about harmony. For this next example, let's start on an E flat minor 11. And let's go to a B flat minor 11. I'm keeping the same spacing between the notes, right? So I went from this E flat minor 11 to a B flat minor 11. I'm keeping the same voice, I'm not doing anything crazy. And then let's go to an F minor 11. All right, so here's an F minor 11. So all together we have E flat minor 11, B flat minor 11, F minor 11. We can create like a really cool composition with with those three chords. I love parallel harmony. It's a great way for you to just explore new possibilities. And it's also a pretty simple way for you to find new ways to express yourself. Like I didn't do anything crazy. I started off on this E flat minor 11 and I just moved around on the keyboard and it allowed me to find really cool compositions or really cool combinations of chords. Let's do one more example. Let's start on this E flat major seven. Let's go to A flat major seven. Then let's go to a D flat major seven. And then a F sharp major seven or G flat major seven. create like a really cool chord progression with just those four, four chords. Now that sounds really good, but let's say you want to deviate from just doing parallel harmony. Like these chords sound pretty cool together, but who's to say you can't Instead of playing this A flat major seven, who's to say you can't play like a A flat major nine, right? Right, you can do that. Now, 
true, you're not taking advantage of parallel harmony, but that is okay. Like you don't have to be locked in to just playing chords that are parallel to each other. So I can go to this A flat major nine, then I can go to like a D flat uh, major nine, then I can go to this uh, F sharp major nine or F sharp or G flat major nine. So I'm using parallel harmony as a starting place, right? We start off on this initial chord progression. Like I'm using parallel harmony as a starting place, but I can deviate from those chords and I can create something different. All right, you can deviate from parallel harmony to get to a chord progression that sounds more of like what you wanna play. And that's one thing that I love about music. You're not locked in or you're not confined by certain rules like if you if you want to use parallel harmony in one part of the progression and then deviate from that and go to something else you can totally do that that is totally okay and that's really all there is to parallel harmony it's where you take a chord and you take each note within that chord and you move it up or down by the same interval and you also can deviate from that to explore even other possibilities now if you want to learn some really cool chords that i'm sure you will love Check out this video.